But I'll tell you what science really ruined for me was the detective story. Do you remember when you were younger and you had Sherlock Holmes and Miss Marple? Do you remember little Miss Marple? Little purple lady. She'd just come into a room and there'd be a dead body over the other side of the room with a knife in its neck. She'd be like, oh, this will take me 45 minutes and a cup of tea to solve. <laughs> now what do we have? CSI. Everyone seen CSI? Yeah. Guy kicks in the door. Get out of my way, Miss Marple. I need to take a hair follicle from this dead son of a bitch. Yeah. Put it in my spectrograph, Eliza do hickey machine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 45 seconds later, I have the results. <laughs> Murder my ass, this man fell out of a plane from 25,000 feet. Landed in a bale of hay in his ex-wife's backyard. She filled him full of laxatives. Running towards the toilet, he ran into a Spanish waiter. He failed to tip in 1972. The Spanish waiter then hypnotized him into thinking he was a piece of steak. He tried to carve himself up. That was suicide. <laughs> what well, I can't wait for, the one thing I can't wait for is CSI Ireland. Why? Deputy State Pathologist O'Shea here. Where's the body? You're standing on it. Oh. So I am. Well, he's dead. And that looks like Mick O'Neill's knife. Mick, did you kill him? I did. Why'd you kill him, Mick? He had it coming. Grand, let's go for a pint, that's fine then.